Welcome to the quick tutorial for our Scarlet and Violet Raid Bot. First, you will need to make sure you have a Nintendo Switch with custom firmware installed. This program does not work on a non-hacked Switch. The modules you will need to have installed in your Atmosphere folder is just SysBot Base. This module allows our bot program to control your Nintendo Switch. In this tutorial, we are going to assume you have these already installed and ready to go. To get started, make sure you are at a point in your game where raids are unlocked. You can start going on One Star Terra raids as soon as the treasure hunt begins and you can leave Mesagosa City. At this point, you can save your game and begin using the raid bot. In your game, go and stand in front of a Terra raid crystal. Save the game in front of it. Next, open the program and let's begin configuring our settings. Begin by adding in your Nintendo Switch IP address and click Add. Then, let's go to the Discord section and enter in your Discord bot token. For the sake of this video, we will assume you know how to create a Discord bot and get the token. If you don't, a simple Google search will give you all of the documentation you need. Next, enter your command prefix. This will allow you and your Discord members to communicate with the bot. This bot can accept raid requests and more from your users. Add the bot to your Discord server and set up the necessary channel permissions. First, type in the command add sudo followed by the at sign, followed by your username. This will assign you as the bot owner. Then, type in the command add channel. This will add your Discord channel to the whitelist and allow the bot to accept commands from that channel. For embeds to show up of the raids, you will need to enter the command add embed channel. The bot should respond letting you know that it added it to the list. Next, let's add our active raids to our program. The program requires a minimum of two active raids to function. You will need a seed finding tool such as genpkm.com or raidcalc. We will use the genpkm.com website in this tutorial. Begin by going to genpkm.com forward slash seeds. Here, you can select which game you are running on your Switch, and what kind of raid and rewards you want to run. Remember, that the game version does matter when selecting seeds. Violet and Scarlet seeds are different and will return different Pokémon. So let your members know to select the game that the bot is running, not the game the user requesting the raid is running. Our bot is running Violet, so I will select Violet, and get a seed that contains 5 ability patches, and add it to my list. We will copy the command code and go back to Discord and change the prefix from RV to ARP. Make sure you replace your bot's prefix as well with the correct one. ARP stands for Add Raid Parameter. RV stands for Raid View, which allows users to view the seed first before requesting it. The ARP command is a owner-only command that allows the bot owner to add raids quicker to their bot to cycle through. Add one more raid of your choice with the ARP command. Once you have all of the raids you want to run put in, click the start button on the bot. The bot will then inject the correct seed for your first raid and begin rotating through your list. You now have a working raid bot, congratulations! Now, if you want to do even more with your raid bot, we have a ton of settings that allow you to customize it even more. Under raid settings, you can see all of the extra settings here. A popular option is the mystery raid setting, which will inject random mystery raid seeds that are always shiny into your active raid list. This will allow you to always have fresh raids to serve your Discord community without you needing to update the raids all the time. For mystery raids, you still need a minimum of two active raids in your list for it to work. After it completes the first raid in your list, it will insert a random mystery raid just like a user requested it. After the mystery raid is done, the bot deletes it from the list and goes to the next. For user requested raids, they will use the code listed on the genpkm.com website. Once they confirm it's the correct raid they want, the bot will add it to the list and DM the user the raid code when it's time to play it. Once the raid is complete, it will be deleted from the list and continue to the next. User requested raids are the highest priority that the bot completes. Mystery raids are the next tier, and the raids you added yourself are last to be played. That's all for this tutorial. We hope you enjoy our amazing program.